So continuing to field more questions here for U.S. Simile, or Relvi Perriera, one of my prior YouTube clips, asks, thank you, do you recommend reviewing forms previous to NBME 20 for step one? The reason this question is being asked is because I've talked about how it's mandatory to memorize forms 20 through 30 for step one prior to sitting the exam. So let me just address this question before we get started. Please subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends who's prepping for U.S. Simile. Help bring awareness to the channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. Also find us on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group. Link is also down below. Now let me start the fucking question. So RLV Pereira asked on one of my prior YouTube clips, do you recommend reviewing forms previous to NBME 20 for step one? And my answer is very rarely. And the reason is not because doing Forms 19 and earlier aren't beneficial. They are. It's just merely the case that 20 through 30 are sufficient for the overwhelming majority of students. And it's practical and very doable to finish those forms. Okay, so 20 through 30, 200 questions per form, that's 200, that's 200 questions per form, that's 2,200 questions. That's essentially a Q-Bank. Okay, so I've talked about in, in my other content how in the final couple of months you're going to be screenshotting your incorrects from those forms into a Word document saving as a PDF or PowerPoint. You're going to have a lot to review, okay? And you're also, you will have finished a passive UWorld by this point. If you haven't finished a passive UWorld and you're within the two-month mark, you're mainly going to drop UWorld and you're going to focus on forms 20 through 30. I know that's outrageous to many students. I've made prior content on this where I've talked about this in detail, but you need to recognize that the U.S. Simile is forms 20 through 30, okay? The questions are exactly the same. There's repeats all over the place. If you do forms 1 through 19, there's repeats on forms, there's repeats that are going to show up on forms 20 through 30, and the repeats show up on the real deal, okay? I sat the step one back in 2012. I did NBME 3 online at the time. And I had two repeat questions on my actual U.S. Simile, including a third question that was a repeat image with a different vignette. So you're going to memorize forms 20 through 30. To do 19 and earlier, yes, you can absolutely do that. It will help you, absolutely. But recognize that it's beneficial to go through a passive UWorld. Okay, that's standard. And then 20 through 30, 2,200 questions, that's pretty good. Okay, that's pretty sufficient. So if you're not getting many questions wrong, okay, if you're getting, if you're scoring up around like 260 plus, and you're getting maybe eight to 10 questions wrong per form tops, it's not going to take you an inordinate amount of time to review each form, okay? So you can venture into forms 19 and earlier, you can, but for most students, I don't see it as necessary, okay? It's not that it won't help, I just don't see it as necessary. I think 20 through 30 are sufficient, okay? 11 forms pretty sufficient, okay? There's a lot we can talk about, all right? Just drop comments down below and I will address your questions, all right? So if you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel and I appreciate your time. That's it.